Hello, I'm Julia Mulligan, Police and Crime Commissioner for North Yorkshire. My job is to be the link between police and communities. I listen to what people want from local policing and collaborate with residents and local agencies to improve public safety, reduce crime and protect the vulnerable. I'm currently developing a local case to change the way our policing and fire services are overseen and I'd like your views on the options I'm considering. One thing I truly believe would improve and strengthen your service is much closer collaboration between police and fire. We are the largest county in England, so joined up working is vital to ensure all your public safety needs are met. There are more than 800,000 of us in cities, market towns, villages, and of course, our beautiful countryside. With 39,000 businesses and more than 7,000 farms, all connected by more than 6,000 miles of road. Police and fire services are currently run entirely separately. This means two headquarters, two finance teams, and two of pretty much everything else. By working more closely together, money can be saved and put back into frontline services, which is important, especially since the demands on both services are changing. For example, fire officers now attend fewer fires, while the demands on the police are also changing. Instead of a public elected commissioner, the fire service is currently governed by the North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Authority. It's made up of 16 elected members selected from North Yorkshire County Council and the City of York Council. The authority meets four times a year. But under a new law, police and crime commissioners can apply to oversee fire and rescue as well as the police, thereby becoming police, fire and crime commissioners. Let's be clear, police officers will still be police officers and fire officers, fire officers, each with their own distinct roles and responsibilities. But by bringing oversight closer together, we can improve things for everyone by sharing knowledge and best practice, sharing back office departments, making smarter use of buildings and other resources, buying equipment together, and by improving our combined ability to plan and respond to our communities. Right now, we're looking at three options for overseeing the fire service in North Yorkshire. The first option is the representation model. Here, the Police and Crime Commissioner becomes the 17th member of the North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Authority. This is easy to implement and will have some impact on public safety, but the Commissioner will be one voice in 17, while the estimated savings are lower. Under option two, the governance model, the Police and Crime Commissioner takes on the role of North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Authority entirely, becoming the Police, Fire and Crime Commissioner. Each service remains distinct with its own Chief Officer. The Commissioner oversees budgets and strategy decisions across both organisations holding both Chiefs to account. The change will be easy to implement, savings will be higher, and effectiveness and public safety are both likely to improve significantly, as it will be easier and faster to create a new joined-up community safety and prevention service. Option three, the single employer model, also involves the Police and Crime Commissioner taking the place of the North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Authority. However, one Chief Officer is appointed to lead both police and fire services. In this case, public safety, effectiveness and savings are all likely to improve significantly too. But implementation will be lengthy, challenging and potentially costly. After assessing the advantages of each, I believe the governance model, option two, is the best one for the people of North Yorkshire. But before submitting my case to the Home Secretary, I want to know what North Yorkshire people think of these options. You can find my case for change called Working Better Together on my website. Our public consultation runs for 10 weeks and it's important that you have your say. Please visit telljulia.com and tell me what you think. And let's make North Yorkshire safer for everyone.